Here is our original DNA strand inside of our original cell. And now, whether it is mitosis or meiosis, whichever it is, uh, we know that the first step is to replicate the DNA, copy the DNA, just like we would do with the letters at Hogwarts, except this time we're replicating the letters on the DNA. Well, how do we do this? this? This DNA is together, and if you did the upper level work a couple of weeks ago, you know that there is actually a bond between these base pairs. It's a hydrogen bond. So they're kind of stuck together. So how are we going to replicate this DNA? Uh, we can't put it on a copy machine. Uh, we can't take a picture of it and put it next to it. We have to be able to do something physical to make it replicate itself. Well, something extraordinary happens. And that extraordinary thing is a, something you probably do every day with something that's not DNA, which is unzip. And that's what this DNA strand is going to do. It's actually going to start unzipping like so, okay? And as it unzips and kind of separates out, all this is happening at the same time. So it doesn't just separate and move over. But as it's unzipping, what's happening is new base pairs are being added to the base pairs that have been unzipped. Like so. Stay T. He doesn't want to stay. We'll fix them. There. No one's dead. Okay. So that one, this, this, this is our old strand here. Remember, our original strand was this strand and this strand. That was from our original DNA strand. Now it is unzipped, and the right side of the strand gets immediately matched up with the base pairs that go to it. And the same thing happens to the left strand. It's also going to get a brand new strand, like so, that all matches up. Now, you can see, again, this was our old one, this was our old one. So A, T, G, C, T, A. Well, look what it is now. A, T, G, C, T, A. A, T, G, C, T, A. They made complete copies of themselves. And now, inside of the cell, we have two complete copies of the original DNA strand. And now, the next thing that's going to happen is that this cell, obviously, it gets bigger because it has to accommodate all of this DNA that's in it. So it has gotten bigger that we talked about last week. And then that cell is going to pinch off like this. The DNA, one copy is in here, one copy is here, splits, and now we have two cells. And that is the same whether we're doing mitosis or meiosis. Of course, if we're doing meiosis, remember we have the crossing over that happens um, before we split. But let's just call this mitosis. It makes it simple. We have the two completely identical DNA strands um, that are going to make the two daughter cells. So we've completely copied all of the DNA code.